Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sarah from Year of Boxes. It's a very exciting day today. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for this day since I started my blog. I get to review a wine subscription box. You don't even understand how excited this makes me right now. So, um, let me give you the background. I have always wanted to review a wine subscription box. It's something that I would love to do on a regular basis, but a lot of them that I came across only shipped to the U.S. because they were located in the U.S. Obviously, shipping alcohol across the border is a little tricky. Um, so, I came across Wine Collective. Um, there you see, and found out, I believe they're in Alberta. I could be wrong. I'm in BC, I'm pretty sure they're in Alberta. I came across them and oh my gosh, I think I almost peed my pants a little bit when I found their website. Um, I didn't know about them and I now get to review them. <laughs> I don't even know, I'm so excited I like can't even speak. This is like a rare thing for me. Normally I can ramble forever. So anyways, they are monthly and there's a few different options you can choose from. So depending on whether you want um, two, four or six bottles of wine per month, it starts at $54.99 for two bottles and then there's another package that is um, $91.99 and then other packages as well, which I will list below. I am reviewing the, um, I think it's the $91.99 um, I want to say it's called the Evolution um, box and it comes with two white and two red. Most of them are a mixture. There are a couple options where you can get just white or just red. So basically there's something for everyone. There's also a really high-end one if you're really into your wine. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So it came in a large box and then they had kind of that like foamy kind of like insulated, looks like um, kind of like what some coolers are made out of. That was what is what they were sitting in. I'm totally not explaining that right. And um, packaged in there nicely, no chance for breakage. And then it came with a little product card for each one, which I really like because then you can learn about them as you go. So um, first up, we have this um, Villa Minelli Rosso. I'm not <laughs> Bear with me. This one here um, is a Merlot Cab Sauvignon, and it is from Italy. And this one, it's I think it has a medium body. It says I'm really into the red, so and I really like um, like Malbecs, things like that. A full body. Um, I'm glad that this is a medium. It'll be a nice little change for me, but I'm really looking forward to trying that. I'm really excited about that one. Then the other red is this one here, and. There we go. I am not going to try to pronounce this. Forgot to close my door and hold on one second. It's a little bit loud. So that is that is what it is. Shayi Boras Classic. I have no clue. Um, so this, um, it says, in a land that is dominated by Malbec, this is dedicated to producing the second most widely planted variety in Argentina. So it's from Argentina. Vibrant, violet purple hue, black cherry core, um, Raspberry and red fruits develop into intense black fruit and um, into intense black fruits of cherry and blackberry. So that is the other red. Then we have this, uh, which is a Moscato. Not sure if I'm saying that right. Um, five senses and this one, oh, I need to zoom out. Five senses. Um, this one is from Greece. Very exciting. Um, and what does it say about this one? Clean and clear, very pale yellow, the hue of a lemon juice. Um, it says to pair this. It had, tells you down here food pairings, what I, is what I really like about it. And then on the back, you can rate it yourself. So there's the one white, and then the other one is a Sauvignon Blanc. It's white sheep, and this one is from New Zealand. I love that they're from all different places. That is very cool. I was happy to see that they did that. Um, and what does it say about this one? It said, oh, here we go. Um, tropical with grassy notes, a fruit salad of pineapple pears and melon. So this one will be perfect for like a hot summer day, nice and cool. Um, so there we have it, wine subscription. 
seriously how fun to get four bottles of wine in the mail every month. I am one of those people that I could go and spend hours at the liquor store looking for wine and I always end up just grabbing ones I know because I get a little bit overwhelmed with the process. I love the idea of getting them sent to you. They pick out ones that they really like and then you get to try them so it's kind of like they take the guesswork out of it for you and it's going to cut down on my time spent at the liquor store and <laughs> it's going to add to my wine collection. It's going to give me a nice bottle of wine to take when I go to a friend's house. All of those fun things. I just absolutely love the idea of the subscription. I highly, highly recommend checking it out if you're into wine. You can start off with the two bottle um, package if you don't want to spend like the $91 and shipping everywhere in Canada, I believe. I know that shipping is free to major city centers and then I don't know how much it is to kind of um, places on the outskirts. So I'll put the details down below and I really hope I get to review them on a regular basis. I'm in love. Thanks for watching. Bye.